Hey everybody, I want to do a little video on some things that I'm working on right now. Um, there's my speakers that I uh, that I made out of coolers uh, sitting up there. I have redone my carport, and we're going to show you a little bit of it here. And I want to show you something that has made this really possible. And I want to show you this is literally an amazing ladder. I've been shocked by it. My kid Daniel got this for me for Father's Day, and he says, you know, I'm kind of tired of you being wobbly. I'm not exactly young. Um, on those old ladders that you use, and I use a lot. And um, he brought this home, and it's got about three quarters of an inch wider on these two steps. It's a five and a half foot tall. This is made by Gorilla. It's hy a hybrid. Now, this comes from Amazon. I'll put a link down there. If you see whatever I'm going to use in this video, I'll put a link down there. You can look at the specs. You can see what they're made of. You can see how they're made, where they're from. And then you can kind of get an idea if something like this would work for you. Now, I use this ladder in one eight footer to do everything that's in here. Everything. It has been the most stable platform in gravel that I've ever used. Here is a $100 ladder sitting over here. It'll walk all over the place. This is a, I think, what will be it, 70 bucks? Yeah. $70 ladder that I've used. It won't move. It is so balanced and it is so freaking light. One handed, one handed, unreal. And it handles like 220, 30 pounds, I think, or 250. Um, and remember, ladder companies derank themselves by about 20%. So if it says 225, it'll do 250. If it says 250, it'll do probably 300. So I'm just giving you a little heads up there. Um, another thing we're gonna show you, and I'm right now I'm cutting the center braces that go up inside this. And you'll see what I'll show you here in just a minute about how I extended this original two and a half inch square tube frame. This all two and a half square. And then I uh, added snow load. When I got this carport, it never had outer walls. It just had that rolled over metal front and back or your side to side that went down about two feet. You might see it in some of my other videos. I did a video on putting the solar panel up on it. Um, this item here is something I got at Amazon as well. And I picked these up at Amazon and I bought the next set out of eBay. Um, can't tell the difference. You gotta do something with the brand. But we're gonna show you what they're all about here. So let me get this hooked up together and we're gonna pull it and use it. But that ladder, guys, I give it my 100% thumbs up. Amazing good ladder and the stability. Take a look at that. Look how it's built with the multiple thing there. Oh yeah, by the way, let me show you this part. This is the part that impressed the hell out of me. Grab that handle. And there is no more having to fight to fold it up. And the way it's built, these have inserts in them, so they're kind of like, not bearings, but you know, they don't bind up. I really love this, and stores so flat. It's amazing. The second thing is, one hand, and down it goes. Put it in place. All right, let's get over here on this. Um, when you're dealing with hard pack or anything that's difficult to dig, which this is, it's been a carport here for quite a few years. Um, we made some changes. When I bought this carport or had it installed or whatever, it was about 1800 bucks and it was only 17 foot wide, uh, 17 nine wide. And it was supposed to have been an 18 by 20 and it was only 19 four long. So this is a cautionary tale of when you buy one of these. I was out on the road. My wife didn't get a tape measure and come out and challenge them. But I want you to look what I did with the front. All that clear. Now that's polycarbonate, it's not PVC. So we have the carport, original frame that's been extended. And then what I did is I added to it. So you'll see here that it's had addition to it. All the way down from the frame out. And what we're doing here is we're digging because this was made to have poles going in at 18 inches out so that I could eventually install a doorway, an actual door. Now, I don't plan on doing anything inside but leaving it gravel. However, what I want to show you here in this video is this thing right here. This is a cheap alternative to busting your butt on this out here. And... 
This thing here is mind-boggling to use to uh, set things up to do post hole digging and tree planting. So I, that tree right there that was planted, this thing here blew through there like it wasn't nothing. So I literally did most of my parameter and then a bunch inside and it dug out like it was nothing. Now, yes, I have a tree out here in my drive area, but then again, I've got close to uh, an acre of gravel, so I'm cool. Um, so what we do here is, is we take this and you just, and it's easy, don't push down unless you want to get your wrist twisted real bad, but you can take it and go at an angle and chop the ground up. And when you do that, your post hole digger literally can go in like nothing. Now, if you get over here and you run into problems, now I've hit some big rocks with this and never had a problem. But if you look over here, um, he wants to go down and you can see the hard pack. It goes all the way to there. So there's about six inches of hard pack and gravel mix. Actually, it's called um, road mix. It's sand and, and uh, pea gravel and other gravel waste stuff that's mixed. In Texas, we call that cleachy rock. So as you can see there, watch me go down in the ground. You can almost drill for a water well with this thing. And if you go real slow and you let it chew away on its own, it will go into hard pack. So if you've got a yard, now there is hard pack that's actual cleachy. We have cleachy in Idaho too. That is about 18 inches down. This is a two, I don't know, it's a two foot hole. It'll make a two foot hole. But if you've got trees you're gonna plant and you go out there and you dig down and about eight inches down, it's really hard, the roots can't get through. Take one of these, just like using it for that, and just pile it you holes as deep as possible and then throw peat moss in the holes and that will break that all down so that your roots will be able to go down when you plant trees. It works great. I have a bunch of fruit trees out there in my field. They said could never grow. They're five years old. Got nine bushes of apples off of them last year. And if you guys have watched whether or not these Bizway batteries have done good, I've beaten the hell out of them. Um, the Bizway, I don't know why, but it's like 20 different brands sell these. But whoever this company is, reseller, I guess you call them a reseller, they haven't picked the garbage. They're careful, I guess. Um, that setup with that little thing there will dig two feet down, and this is about two and a quarter inches in diameter. So if you're going to put in a regular metal T-post in the ground and you don't want to beat the hell out of them for two hours to get them in a hard ground, that right there. That'll get you two feet. That'll get you past that hard part of the ground. If you have to dump a little bucket of water, there you go. But I just want to give you guys something. Oh yeah, and check this out. Kara planted a whole bunch of corn. Didn't think it would live out here near the garden. So I want to show you something here. A lot of weeds. Aerate the soil. Weeds come out by the roots. Kind of cool, huh? Easy. Easy way of doing it. Always get them out by the roots. All right, let's get back over here. Uh, I was out here doing this work, and if you guys know, if y'all, I don't know if I show it in my other videos or not, but the walkway that I built out of squares is now enclosed inside. So if you come out here, this is kind of a cool setup right here. And the garden water doesn't go into the driveway or out into the carport anymore. We also have cabinets because we are putting all the solar in here. And now instead of me being 17 foot nine to this point right here, uh, on both sides, so I guess they call that an 18 footer. Um, we are now 24 foot four all the way to there, and we're 25 foot out the length instead of less than 20 feet. So, giving you guys an update of some of the goings on out here at the Pokey House. That is a great little investment. Used it a lot, setting blocks, setting posts, you name it, everything I've done out here. Still tough, still handles it in my rocky ground.